Hello everyone, this is CJ Wiley back on the road, uh, traveling to Louisiana. Gonna go over there and uh, give some lessons and uh, maybe play a little bit. Louisiana was uh, where I first met Scotty Townsend. Scotty Townsend was a road player that I'd run into all over the place. Scotty was an incredible character. If you knew him, you know what I'm talking about. He actually wrestled alligators and uh, you know he was he was a tough guy strong guy they say he could uh, he could lift a car up but uh, he always wore cowboy boots and uh, that's something that I did too I wanted to dress unlike most pool players so I would like carry my money in a wallet and uh, wear cowboy boots and then stuff like that that kind of separated me from the crowd of uh, other pool players but Scotty was the same way he was really a country boy and uh, we got along really well and we had a lot of really tough matches if you're going to play Scotty you had to be willing to win all the money he could get all of it like he used to say I've never lost a pool match I've just ran out of money a few times and that was the truth uh, you know and I tested him several times we'd play for two or three straight days and I played him in Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, uh, Kansas we played one time. And uh, I think the last time I played him was in Florida, down there, uh, Panhandle of Florida. But uh, Scotty and I played so many times uh, before I was 21 that we ended up meeting up in Vegas at a big tournament, the uh, World Series of Tavern Pool. And it had 756 players, and uh, we were both in the tournament. but. We decided we weren't going to go against each other this time. We were going to uh, partner up. So I uh, was fortunate enough to go through the tournament undefeated and winning the tournament, which was uh, one of the first like major tournaments that I'd won. And afterwards, you know, Scotty and I uh, couldn't resist having a few drinks. And when I say a few, uh, that's a considerable understatement. Scotty could drink. I mean, he could really drink. So we had champagne, and we had mixed drinks, and we had beers. And anyway, we ended up going down to the tournament area, and there were some Mexican champions uh, from California. They had some bar table champions that were uh, really strong. Not as strong as like a Keith McCready, but uh, Keith would gamble with them and maybe give them the seven ball or six ball or something. But they played really, really well. So they wanted to, they're, you know, woofing at me to play, and I was too messed up. Scotty said, that's okay, I'll play him. I was like, really, are you sure you can play right now? He says, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. So I gave him some money, and he proceeded to play them, and I went over and uh, sat on a pool table and ended up laying back and, and passing completely out. Well, I don't know how much time went by, but uh, all of a sudden, I was being shaken, and I looked up, and it's Scotty right in my face, and he's like, come on, let's, it's time to party some more, and I got up, and I didn't even know where I was for a second, and uh, I said, what happened, and he shows me this big wad of money, he said, I got him, so anyway, the party was on, I was like, we went back to the bar, and I was like, Scotty, how can you drink this much and play pool, and he says, oh, that's nothing, he says, one time, he says, I drank so much, he says, I pulled over because I couldn't drive, and the police came up to me and ended up giving me a breathalyzer test. They went back to their car for a while, and then they came back, and I said, what did it read? And they said, well, according to this, you're dead. <laughs> So anyway, Scotty was an incredible man, and uh, rest in peace, he passed away on a motorcycle accident, and uh, I just played in the Scotty Townsend Memorial Tournament and got third, and I was really happy about that because uh, I felt like he was looking down at me a little bit, and hoping that I would uh, have a flashback, you know, from back when we used to play. So if you like my stories and you want to learn more about what I've learned on the road, playing and gambling and uh, big money matches and ESPN tournaments and, you know, mixing with all these top players. I've got a uh, website, www.masteringpocketbilliards.com, that uh, is a membership site. 
it's uh, less than ten dollars a month uh, to join you can get out at any time and I'm going to keep providing fresh content I just uh, uploaded some new videos and I've got all my instructional material which is uh, close to eight hours right now of uh, stuff that you can go through and I guarantee you'll you'll learn as much as you want to there's a, a lifetime of information there and it's going to keep improving because I'm also going to have question and answer times and uh, some guest pro appearances anyway I just want to help you uh, have the same opportunity I had to be coached by a, a real road player because I'm one of the, the last ones uh, the day of the road player is gone but uh, I'd like to help you reach your full potential.